This video is sponsored by Sunday, India's first sleep tech startup. Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawe, joined by Danny Wang <laughs> and Shara Kirk. Uh, we're all always prepared here. So this is called Adithya Varma. And this is uh, similar to Arjun Reddy. It's a remake. It's a, and, oh, um, Kabir Singh. Kabir Singh. I was gonna say that, but a shark caught me off. So Kabir Singh, Arjun Reddy, it's a remake. It's the it's the third version of this, and Danny Wang has never seen any of the other ones, so she'll have the fresh take. Uh, Achara has only seen uh, Kabir Singh. Right. No, no, no I've you only saw seen Arjun Reddy. Arjun Reddy. She's seen Arjun Reddy. I've seen Arjun Reddy and Kabir Singh. You get three totally different opinions here. This is starring Dhruv Vikram, and it's directed by. Oh my lord. <laughs> Hold, don't, hold on. I'm not saying anything. It's directed by Giri Saya. Giri, Giri, Giri Saya. What, what is it, Achara? Go ahead. I don't know. All right. I don't know if it's a hard G or a soft G. Giri Saya or Giri Saya? Mm, Giri Saya. Jimmy Shergill. It's Giri Saya. So, all right, here we go. Let's check this out, shall we? Maybe turn the sound on. How about you shut your face? <laughs> I'm caught in the middle of this. You have a drinking problem. In fact, you have been in the hospital and you have a liquor serve. Like another butt cheek? So, you have a stressing problem. You have a drug cell. You have a rude behavior. Now, tell me, Dr. Aditya, were you intoxicated on that day before the surgery? Either the alcohol consumed in the lab or any other form of substance abuse? The same responses all the girls. I will be the most affected, do you understand? Mila! Have you completely lost it? Yes, I've completely fucking lost it! Look at me! Drink, that's what's going on. Yeah. There. They didn't really show you the whole thing there because by this point, you, you know it's up. I have oh. to say, just on a side note before you go into your thing about the whole trailer, is I really like that song. That song that they were. <laughs> that was really That sweet. was a very beautiful song. It was, um, yeah, love it. You go first because this is new to you. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, I forgot that it's a remake. Right. I I enjoyed it very much. I'm, I'm very like, I just want to see what happens between her and him. Yeah. How they fall in love and like, why can't they be together? I just, I craved a performance. Mm. I'm gonna think this is a relationship-based movie, mm -hmm. very heavily acted, you know? I'm here for the acting. Like, okay. it better be a good film if the acting was good, Yeah. you know? Like, anything else probably doesn't matter. This is like everyday life kind of thing. People struggle with this. I don't know if there's like class rank. That's why they can't be together. Well, he obviously has an issue. He's an alcoholic. But why Why she love him so much? The fact that, you know, he's an alcoholic. But he's probably also very charming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want to know like what he did to make her be so deep in love with him and how badly they were hurt. That's, a, that's good, that's, a, that's an interesting take. I mean, it's that's very similar to, a lot of your sentiments that you're expressing right now are similar to what I felt when I first watched the the trailers without having seen any of the movies and whatnot. Yeah. Do you want to say anything, like, before I go into my no, thing? No, no, you go ahead. So, having watched the two versions, it's, 
It's a little tough. Like I'm, I'm seeing one of my big frustrations with Kabir Singh is that it's basically the same exact movie. And part of the reason why is because it was the same director. This is the first instance where you have a different director from the original because the director of Aditya, not Aditya, but uh, what's it called? What's Arjun Reddy. Arjun Reddy. The director of Arjun Reddy is the one that did Kabir Singh. And so you literally had the same person telling the same story. And it's like, that that was a frustrating experience mm. for me because he literally did the exact same movie. Mm. And I was like, you have this opportunity to tell this story from a different angle, introduce new ideas, but he went for the same exact thing over again mm. between the shots and the music and everything. And the, and the song is cool. Like the song they show at the beginning, that that like the heavy the rock theme, beat. His theme. The theme, his theme. Yeah, the, the Arjun Reddy or Kabir Singh theme. I love that theme. I think yeah. it's very powerful. This video is sponsored by Sunday. Sunday is India's first sleep tech startup and they sell straight to you, no middleman. They cut that right out, which saves you, the consumer, 30%. That's a lot of money that they're saving you there by not having some middle person between you and that mattress that you so dearly want and need. Also, they give you 100 nights risk-free to try out the mattress. And if you don't like it, you can return it for a full refund. Click on the Sunday link in the description below because it's a special deal for the Koi family. All of you guys. The way the way it's shot is very interesting to me because it almost feels like it's trying to be, and all across the board, like all three versions, it feels like it's trying to be a Requiem for a Dream, but it doesn't ever quite go there. It doesn't ever quite go to the depths that Requiem for a Dream explores. Because Requiem for a Dream is one of the dar darkest movies I've ever seen in my life, mm -hmm. and it totally validates and warrants the kind of filmmaking that they're doing there. This is more a film that's like Flight with Denzel Washington. And they even, the director mm. even outright uh, uh, mentioned that his, his it was what inspired him in certain scenes mm. is flight. And mm -hmm. so I'm like, okay, cool. I'm only curious about this str uh, because it's a different director. That's the only reason that I'm, I'm remotely curious about it. Other than that, I'm like, I've seen this story mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't need to see the story again. Yeah. But because it's a different filmmaker, I am curious about his way of his shooting take. it, his mm -hmm. take on it, the way he changed up things. Um, that would be like from a purely- Analytical? Sc scholar, not scholar. Scholastic. Scholastic, yeah. From a purely scholastic standpoint, that's what makes me want to watch this is just seeing the difference between, you know, the three versions. Uh, hopefully he does have a difference. I can see already from the trailer, like he's got, he's shooting the action differently. Mm -hmm. Is that your stomach? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was like, I hear, I hear like a hallway with a train going through it or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, so we're a slave driver here at the Kuwait Channel. Okay. But no, but like it, with the way the action is shot is is inherently different, and I appreciate his effort to to delineate from the other versions. Yeah. But in the trailer alone, I can already see there. I mean, you're talking. You're. I'm an action dude. You yeah. know, I've I've mm -hmm. shot fights, and so is Danny Wang. Like you can see that there's like a miss happening yeah. multiple times. Like with the, but the, it was almost like that scene in The Godfather where Sonny totally missed the guy he was punching in the street, and there was a sound effect anyway. I'm like, <laughs> yo, like you gotta do some tricks there uh, mm -hmm. to make that work. I like that it's trying to do different things. Is the crux of my my feeling is the, is the summary of my feeling about this. Like it's cool. Like I like that they're trying different stuff. Uh, I just don't know that. I love the story so much that I understand why it's being made again and again and again. That's what I'm yeah. trying, really trying to get to. But I think it's it's always the same. When I watch the trailers, I'm always instantly drawn into the love story because mm -hmm. I'm someone who very much enjoys love stories. Mm -hmm. And then I remember, I'm like, no, wait, hold up. You watch this movie. You know how it went down. It's not this beautiful love story that they're showing here. What? Yeah, no. sorry, Danny. Oh. Well, it's there. It's just not the. It's not what you think it is. It's not what you think it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, if if they compare it to flight, then yeah, that's not about love. Yeah, it's at more. All. It's more. The, when you get into the nitty gritty of the story, it's more. It's more flight than it is a love story. Man. Yeah. Well, this is clearly a love story. Yeah. I mean, well, that's, it is. It that's is, what propels him down that plot. It's that, an that, epic that love flight. story, and then it gets unrequited. Like it, it, things go wrong, and yeah. then he starts spiraling out of control and getting deep into drug addiction, alcohol addiction, oh, wow. and all of that. I think it's a nice trailer. You know, they they've done a good job of getting me interested mm -hmm. in it again. But like mm -hmm. you said, I don't know if I would want to watch that story. The reason why again. It, the reason why I the, the story bothers me isn't because the like here's the thing they all the um, all the material is there for something that's compelling, but the, my problem is the way it goes about it is it, the story vindicates him way too easily, in my opinion. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, it clears him of all guilt 
and I'm like, no, no, like he, there was some messed up stuff in there and that was never tended to properly. And to me, it worships him when it should be criticizing him and making, and you should see him go on a journey of actual reflection. Whereas I never quite got that from the story, neither of the two versions. And I don't, I'm not getting the sense that they're changing, that they're deviating from that here. No. Like most of the deviations here is technical stuff more than it is story stuff. And if, after the reviews come out, if I find out that they really did deviate story-wise, I will be even more compelled to watch it. But like, I was frustrated at the end of both films, Arjun Reddy and Kabir Singh, because I'm like, th I wanted this character to be punished more. I wanted him to go through a, a, a a deeper reflection and a, a greater arc, mm. but I felt like the person he was at the end is basically who he is at the beginning. He just doesn't do drugs. Yeah, and then drugs. He, he gets what he wants, Yeah, basically. And I'm like, oh, come on. I'm curious about the lead actor though, Dhruv Vikram. Yeah. To me, and I don't know how old he is actually, but to me, he seems a lot younger than the other two actors that were, you know, that took the role. You know, I kind of like that though. Yeah, I think that's interesting to have have the take of someone who has that kind of younger look and and younger energy. That makes more um, sense with the character. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because the character is very, uh, he's kind of a bully. He's very aggressive. I could see that. He's very controlling. And I think that having a younger guy play that makes more sense. So those are the feelings. <laughs> and uh, you got three different feelings there. And uh, hopefully that was uh, enjoyable. Y'all can let us know in the comments below. Check out Achara Kirk and uh, Danny Wang on the social media. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Javi Kawai. This is Achara Kirk and Danny Wang. Peace out.